So the next one I want to work with you is number six. For number six, we see that the first letter given that we need to substitute is Y. Y is negative 12. So I'm going to put negative 12 inside parentheses. Now, please notice that in front of Y, we have a negative. So that means I need a negative in front of the parentheses that I put the negative 12 in. Then please notice that you have a square on the outside of Y. So I need a square right here on the outside of my parentheses. Then I'm going to copy down the minus sign. I'm going to copy down the 3. This is 3 times x times y, so I need to know what x equals. x equals negative 5 over 6. And then I see another y, so I need to put my substitution of negative 12 in one more time. From here, order of operations, the first operation that we need to do for this problem, again, is exponents. So you're squaring a negative 12. This means you have negative 12 times negative 12. And negative times a negative is positive. 12 times 12 is 144. So I'm replacing negative 12 squared with 144. Okay. You want to notice that the negative on the outside still needs to be there. So this changes back to a negative 144 because of the negative on the outside of those parentheses. From here, I need to consider what I need to do with these fractions. In order to multiply fractions, we need to give 3 a denominator. 3 is the same thing as 3 over 1. And remember, when we multiply fractions, we multiply them going straight across. So I'm going to copy down the minus sign. I'm going to copy down the 3 over 1. I'm going to copy down the negative 5 over 6. And I'm going to copy down the negative 12. And again, remember, we're multiplying these fractions straight across. So negative 144 minus 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. 1 times 6 is 6. So a lot of times it's easiest to simplify as you go. So if I see that I need to keep going, I know I need to keep going, but I see that I'm going to have to multiply negative 15 times negative 12. And if I don't want to do that, I can also notice that if I simplify negative 15 over 6 by dividing the top and the bottom by 3, then that'll make my work a little bit easier down the road. So I have negative 144, then I'm going to copy down this minus, I'm going to simplify this, negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5, negative, excuse me, positive 6 divided by 3 is positive 2. So now I've simplified this, so now I don't have to multiply negative 15 times negative 12. I can simply multiply this straight across, multiply negative 5 times negative 12 instead. So here we have the negative 144, I'm just copying down again. The minus, I'm just copying it down again. A negative 5 times a negative 12 is positive 60. Okay, so this minus sign came from here that I've copied down, and I have a positive 60 after the minus sign. 2 times 1 is 2. So I notice I need to divide before I subtract. So the next thing we need to do is simplify 60 over 2. So negative 144 minus 60 divided by 2 is 30. So I need to combine negative 144 with, with a negative 30, because you can say plus negative 30. So the signs are the same, so we need to add these together. 144 plus 30 is 174. 
the answer is negative 174 because both 144 and 30 are both negative.